Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing 12 daily habits that I actually think can change your life and I really try not to say that lightly because I, I know I've seen videos like this where people are like make your bed drink water. These are just different. The, it's 2020, this is a brand new year, and that's kind of what inspired this video. I, I didn't make specific New Year's resolutions. What I did do is I wrote some things down that I'm trying to do every single day, and I've really seen a big impact in my life, like in a positive way. And so that's totally what inspired this video. Um, like I said, there's 12 things. You don't have to do every single one of them, um, but hopefully this video does give you some inspiration. So if you're new, consider subscribing. You totally should, that'd be great. But without further ado, let's get started. It is now hailing outside. Can you see that? I'm very excited for spring. I think it's I think it's in March, we have a ways to go. Anyway, so we're just getting the first thing out of the way just because it's what starts your day. It's kind of dumb. I feel like you've probably heard this before, but guys, if we just, I, I've made this change and it's I've, its good. Uh, you just have to get ready every single day. It doesn't matter if you're leaving the house or you're staying at home, uh, you need to get ready. Put some clothes on, some nice clothes, throw on maybe just a little bit of makeup, brush your hair, and you will feel so much better. You will get so much more, done throughout the day, you'll be so much more productive. Uh, so I, I know some people just like to kind of lounge around in sweatpants, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, and, and, and that can be nice, but I'm telling you, if you just put on some normal clothes and a little bit of makeup, Wow, by the end of the day, you are just so much more happy with what you've accomplished, I promise. Okay, so now we're gonna get onto some stuff that not everyone always says. Uh, so this is a simple little change, but guys, it's so easy. This is like a, a quick, easy thing to do. Uh, you need to, anytime you are looking in the mirror throughout the day, smile at yourself. Guys, it is good, it's a good thing. So what this does is it kind of just makes you you know, appreciate yourself. It just puts you in a better mood. Um, and I read this somewhere like in an inspirational book like a, like a month or two ago and I didn't really think anything of it. And so when the, the, the new year came around, I, I, like I said, I was making a list of just things I wanna do every day, some daily habits and that one popped into my head. And so every single time in the morning when I'm getting ready or even when I'm just leaving the bathroom, I'll look in the mirror, check my earring, whatever. Uh, and I just specifically smile at myself. And I'm telling you, it really just, I don't know, it just kind of lifts your spirits just a tad. And like just doing that consistently, I've noticed an improvement in my mood. So just try it out. Number three is to drink water, but, 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 but wait, hear me out. It has, it, I, there's more to it than what everyone says. So when you wake up in the morning, drink water. But but what I what I what you need to do is take a probiotic and a multivitamin. So I do really get into supplements um, and I, I'm not gonna like push that on anybody, but I, I guess I am gonna kind of push the, the probiotic and the multivitamin because I just really think that those are really good foundational ones to do no matter who you are. Um, so I'm going to like take this with a grain of salt. I have two favorite probiotic brands, Garden of Life and Flora. I, I can link them below and I also have two favorite brands of multivitamins. So it's just an easy thing to do. You don't have to go crazy, but I do think that those two supplements are just fantastic to take on a daily basis. Number four does involve lists, which if you know me at all, you know how much I always push list making and writing everything down, but I have made a change to how I actually do it. So ever since the new year, I started actually making lists for the next day the night before. So before I go to bed, I write down everything that I want to accomplish for the next day. And then when I wake up, it's already ready for me, already there, already correct. And, and that's the, the thing, like I kept waking up in the morning, I was tired, my decision making really wasn't quite up to speed and I would plan out my day and I just felt overwhelmed. And it's just so much better the night before, my mind is just more awake and I can plan out my day and then I wake up and it's like the decisions have already been made for me. I already know what I'm gonna do and I am so much more productive because of it. So that leads me to number five, which was kind of a light bulb moment that I had recently just kind of actually talking to a coworker who is very, very, very productive at night. That's just when she flourishes. And it hit me that every single person in this world just is different. 
And I think that a lot of these videos, when you watch like how to be productive, everyone says, wake up and, and just get the ball rolling, you know, be productive as soon as you wake up. And it just kind of hit me that some people just really thrive at night or during the day or maybe early in the morning at like 5 a.m. Um, and so you really just need to think about who you are as a person and be productive at your time of the day. So for me, I'm not so sure I am that productive early in the morning. I think I, I, I find that I am more productive in the evening hours. Um, and so I really try to capitalize on that more so this this year in 2020. I've kind of changed the way that I do things based on how I feel productive. The next thing that I really encourage you guys to do every single day is to make the most of really annoying tasks. So the really annoying tasks might be commuting to work, doing the dishes, taking a shower. I know some people love taking a shower. Guys, I hate taking a shower. It's just like, I mean, I do it obviously, but it's just like this annoying thing that I have to do. I feel like it's a waste of time, even though it's not a waste of time, I need to clean myself. It's just like another thing I have to do during the day. Uh, so what I like to do is when it's an annoying task, try to also do something that you enjoy, like watch YouTube videos or listen to a podcast, something fun, like, you know, oh, doing my makeup. Like it's an annoying thing that I do every day. Um, I don't really enjoy it, but I'll prop up my phone and I'll watch a YouTube video while I'm doing my makeup or I'll listen to a podcast when I'm driving to work or I'm driving to the grocery store. So just try to make the most of those stupid, annoying things you have to do every day. It's a lot more fun. This next one, I'm not gonna spend too much time on at all, but it's a change that I encourage you guys to really try to make, which is to just always be early, don't be late. It's just not really, it's just really not very nice, uh, but you can kind of spin it and twist it to your advantage. So just try to be a little bit early and then you can actually have a little time to yourself, like a little section of time, like 10, 15 minutes where you can just kind of peruse on your phone. You can you can bring something else productive, maybe a planner or something, kind of like map out some, some other things you wanna do. And, and you can just be productive in that little time span. But then also, you're ahead of schedule, you're early, you're not kind of rude by being late. Um, so just a, a little change to try to make in this new year. Okay, so this next one's really cool and I love it. And it's kind of weird, again, something that nobody ever really says, but uh, when you do go somewhere, try to park the furthest away you possibly can. And you're like, what? Shay, I need that good parking spot. I, I know, it's weird. It's weird, but guys, it's cool. So what that encourages you to do is actually just walk. And, and, and so like in this video, I'm not saying you need to exercise every day and you probably do, but I don't. I found that if I literally park as far away as I possibly can, it encourages me to get a teeny weeny bit of exercise, which I know is like pathetic. That's obviously not that much, but it, it gives you some fresh air. It, it encourages a little bit of, of walking. I don't know. I've just really enjoyed it. And it's like this little game for me that I actually park far away. So just try it out. The next thing that you should do every day and make such a positive impact on your life is to give one person a compliment every single day. And it's not that hard, but guys, it makes you feel good. It makes them feel good. You can just stop a random person in Target and say, hey, I really like your coat. And they'll be like, thanks so much. Like, it's just really nice. It's just a really nice thing to do and you feel great about it. So Again, just, just do it. It's a, a quick little daily habit. Okay, so this next one, I again, really, really, really like it. Um, and it's really not that hard, but you, if you just commit to doing it, oh, it's, it's good. So I, commit to getting rid of one thing every single day. And I know that sounds weird. Uh, it sounds hard. It's not hard. You, you've got clutter in your house, guys. I, and, and there's things, like literally I'm looking over there. I see something I could throw away and I just do it. And I just one time a day, walk through your house and get rid of something. And you could donate, I'm not saying you have to throw everything away. You could have a little basket in your house and you just throw it in that basket. And then once every couple weeks, you take it to the donation uh, place and you can get rid of it. Or if it's just actual trash, you can throw it away because believe it or not, there's trash in your house. Um, so this is a, such a cool daily habit that really makes a big impact in your household. So this next one is a lot harder to commit to than it sounds, at least it has been for me, but it really, 
has also been helpful if I actually do it. So it's called the two minute rule. I have not made this up. I totally saw this somewhere else. I have no idea where I saw this, honestly. It's been a while. But basically, it's called the two minute rule because if you see something you need to do and it takes less than two minutes to do it, you have to do it right then and there. You like, you have to go do it. And ugh, it's hard because there's, ugh, I just wanna like, I just tell myself like, oh, I could do it a little bit later. And then obviously that's procrastination and that's not good. And that's what it wants you to not do it. it. Like if you just do it, it takes less than two minutes. So it's over really fast, but then you've actually done it. Um, so anyway, I've really been trying to think to myself, if this is gonna take less than two minutes, then I try to just do it. And when I do it, it's a really good feeling and I really enjoy it. So I wanted to include it in this video. Just do it, two minute roll, try it out. Alrighty, so we are already on to number 12 and I really think this last one is the most important one. It trumps everything um, and that is making your family a priority and it can be hard and it's not like you, I know you guys want to make your family a priority, but a lot of times, um, just like our jobs, things we need to do, you know, we're making all these lists, we're trying to be all productive. Um, you know, sometimes that can get in the way with just literally putting everything to the side and spending time with your family because at the end of the day, that is 100% the most important thing and I know you guys know this and this is one of those like fluffy ones that you're like kind of disappointed that I'm ending with because it's like, uh, throw everything aside and just spend time with your family, maybe your friends. Um, it's so, 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 so important and I wanted to end with it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really think these daily changes and these daily habits can make a very big impact in your life. Like I said, just pick a few of them. You don't have to do them all. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.